Question number one. Which of the following best describes a hypothesis? The correct answer is letter B, an educated guess. A hypothesis is called an educated guess because it is a proposed explanation for a phenomenon that is based on existing knowledge, observation, and logical reasoning. Unlike a random guess, an educated guess involves using what one already knows to predict or explain something that is not yet fully understood. Question number two. What is the first step in the scientific method? The correct answer is letter C. Make an observation. The first step in the scientific method is making an observation. Making observation involves noticing something in the natural world that sparks a question or prompts curiosity. The observation leads to the identification of a problem or phenomenon that needs to be explored. Question number three. In an experiment, the variable that is changed or manipulated is known as the The correct answer is letter D, independent variable. The independent variable is the one that researchers change to observe its effects on the dependent variable. For example, in this experiment, the independent variable is the water received by the plants. The experimental group receives water while the control group does not. Question number four. The variable that is measured in an experiment is called the The correct answer is letter C, dependent variable. A dependent variable is the variable in an experiment that is observed and measured to determine the effect of change made to the independent variable. For example, in this experiment of testing the effect of fertilizer on plant growth, the independent variable is the amount of fertilizer applied to the plants. The dependent variable is the growth of the plants measured by height or biomass. By measuring the growth of the plants dependent variable, the researcher can determine how different amounts of fertilizer independent variable influence plant growth. Question number five. When scientists publish their findings, what part of the scientific method are they engaging in? The correct answer is letter C. When scientists publish their findings, they are engaging in the communication of results part of the scientific method. This step involves sharing their research and conclusions with the scientific community and the public to allow for peer review, replication, and further investigation. Question number six. What is the main purpose of conducting an experiment? The correct answer is letter C. An experiment is conducted to test a hypothesis. By doing this, scientists gather evidence to support or refute their prediction, helping them understand if their idea is correct. Question number seven. In an experiment to test the effect of light on plant growth, the amount of light is the The correct answer is letter D. In an experiment to test the effect of light on plant growth, the amount of light is the independent variable. 
Independent variable is the variable that is changed or controlled by the experimenter to observe its effect on plant growth. Question number eight. What is the purpose of a control group in an experiment? The correct answer is letter D. A control group in an experiment provides a baseline for comparison. The control group does not receive the experimental treatment, allowing scientists to see the difference between the control and experimental groups and attribute any changes to the independent variable. Question number nine. In a well-designed experiment, how many independent variables should be tested at a time? The correct answer is letter A, 1. In a well-designed experiment, only one independent variable should be tested at a time. This allows for a clear understanding of the relationship between the independent variable and the dependent variable, ensuring that any observed effects can be attributed specifically to the independent variable being tested. Question number 10. Which step of the scientific method involves using graphs, tables, or statistical analyzes to summarize the experimental data? The correct answer is letter A. The step of the scientific method that involves using graphs, tables, or statistical analyzes to summarize the experimental data is, is the analysis step. In this step, scientists take the data they have collected during their experiments and organize it in a way that makes it easier to understand and interpret. Question number 11. What is the primary purpose of repeating an experiment? The correct answer is letter D. The primary purpose of repeating an experiment is to verify the results and ensure they are consistent and reliable. Repeating the experiment helps confirm that the findings are not just due to chance and that the results can be trusted. Question number 12. Before forming a hypothesis, what should a scientist do? The correct answer is letter D. Before forming a hypothesis, a scientist should first make careful observations of the natural world and gather relevant data. Next, the scientist conducts thorough research by reviewing existing scientific literature and information related to the topic. This step helps in understanding what is already known and what gaps exist in the current knowledge. Question number 13. What is a scientific law? The correct answer is letter D. A generalization about how the natural world behaves under certain conditions is called law. Next question. Which of the following is not a characteristic of a good hypothesis? The correct answer is letter C. In scientific research, a hypothesis should generally be specific and testable rather than vague and open-ended. Question number 15. Which of the following is an example of qualitative data?
The correct answer is letter A. Color of a flower. Qualitative observations are descriptions that do not involve numbers or measurements, but instead involve the qualities or characteristics of something. These observations are often based on sensory descriptions such as color, texture, smell, taste, and sound. For example, noting that a leaf is green, yellow, or red is a qualitative observation. It describes the appearance of the leaf without quantifying it.